So what you saying? You mean want to meet me at four tomorrow? Why? I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I would love to do that. It sounds like a lot of fun, but don't you got a boyfriend? Yeah. So, I mean, like, you don't, you, you don't think he might be uncomfortable with you meeting up with me to have that kind of fun or any, probably any kind of fun knowing the, you know, the jealousy levels of dudes nowadays. <laughs> nah, I mean, I, I mean, no, I'd be totally fine with, you know, kicking it if you, you know, if that's what you want to do, but like, for sure, but like not. I mean, I don't know. I ain't trying to cause up, like, no drama between y'all. You don't really care what he thinks. Okay. So, I mean, you just, y'all, y'all don't. <laughs> What's going on? Like, y'all having some kind of beef right now or something? Been beefing for a while. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Well, what's the deal with that? Like, you thinking about leaving him or something like that? Oh no, you're you're, you're probably gonna stay with him. At least for now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's what's up. You know, as long as you know you're happy with that. My thing is though, like. If that's the case, shouldn't you be like letting him know some kind of way that you want to hang out with me? I mean, like I said, you know, I'm always up for friends. We can always, you know, what I mean, we can kick it. You know, we can always we definitely, you know. But I just think that that's something that probably he would want to know. And something that would probably also maintain a lot of peace in your relationship. No, I mean, just to be, like, open and honest about stuff, you know, it's just important, I feel, to, to be that way. <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about it? He doesn't have to know. I just think that's kind of shady, you know what I mean? Like, what about, I mean, no, I'm not saying that anything's going to happen or anything like that, you know, but I would, if you was my woman, I would want to know that, you know, you were planning on kicking it with some dude, you know? Yeah, I mean. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you like, you actually do want something to happen. Oh, I, okay. What do you want to happen? Think about it. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I can guess. I probably could guess, but I've learned that assuming leads to being wrong much more than being right. So I'm just asking directly. It's kind of my style of things. Right. Ah, okay. So, so, okay. So he's not completely He's not wonderful. 
in the bedroom, and uh, y'all have been arguing, and so there hasn't been much of that anyway, and you're now trying to link up with me, basically behind his back, and do the sneaky leg thing, or what? Not sneaky links, but what? Yeah, we we could just be friends. Yeah, I'm sh for sure. But kind of sounds like you want to be a little more than friends. I don't know. I'm just I like to I just like to keep it real about stuff and just be upfront and like the way you're looking at me. Um, which if you did not have a man, I would be totally like <laughs> entranced about because you're very beautiful and, you know, I dig you, you know what I mean? You're, you're like sense of humor and all that type of good stuff, you know, but you do have a man. And, um, like your tone, you know, which is lovely, but it's insinuative, which again, I would be all for if you weren't entangled in the situation, which gets entangled for me because then I got to be involved in your situation. And that's bad karma for one, for two, it's just potential unnecessary drama and I ain't really with that I'm really not like I'm just not you know if it's not something that you really feel comfortable sharing with your man you know telling him about it then it's probably not something done with honorable intention and what do I mean honorable intention I mean you plan on probably ending up being more than friends. Am I right? Mm -hmm. You don't know? Okay. Well, the fact that you just didn't answer no was proof enough <laughs> for me of my theory here. And um, I'm not... No, nah, definitely not. I'm not, like, judging or anything like that. You know what I mean? I'm not casting judgment. I'm just making an inference. An inference is an educated guess. And then based on that inference, I form a hypothesis. And for instance, my hypothesis here is that you want to meet with me tomorrow, not tell your man about it, because assumption is we're going to kick it, uh, you know, probably have a lot of fun, have some drinks. Yeah, I told you I got a place nearby. You probably, you know, want to come hang out there. And then a lot of free things happen that shouldn't happen because there's somebody else that those things should be happening with. But I, you know, respectfully, I just, you know, that's what I think. I, that's where your head is at. You want to tell me if I'm wrong? Well, I'm not totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, I'm not really with, I'm not really with the whole sneaky links thing. It's not, it's not really my thing, you know. It just seems dishonorable to me you know like you you make a commitment and you like I don't mean marriage or anything like that but especially if you're married but like I don't mean marriage I just mean like you have a monogamous agreement you agree with somebody else to not do something with somebody else then it becomes about honor it ain't about you know like rather your desire to do something with somebody else is wrong or unfounded or anything like that it's just about you gave your word to somebody to do something or to not do something. 
and I can't really be a part of you breaking that code or like lying because it's it's also dishonorable on my part to intentionally do it. I know most dudes don't think like that. I know that's not like the typical process of thought when it comes to these sorts of things, especially because you're beautiful, like I said, and charming and, uh, you know, just your aura generally is nice. And, uh, but I'm just not really with that, shorty. And I, I, like I said, I appreciate that you would be thinking of me when you're thinking of something like that. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't really think that's going to work out for me. It's not my vibe, you know? We would never, even if we, if we did kick it, we, and I don't really think you intend for feelings to grow or whatever, but, you know, even if that did happen, we wouldn't be able to trust each other. Like, I, to be honest, wouldn't trust you. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you know, respectfully, but let's be real. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, it's definitely cool, <laughs> for sure. And I mean, you know, if it, we've already exchanged, you know, social media, so you support me, I support you, and it'll be dope. Yeah, cool. Well, thank you for sharing this experience with me, my love. Take your hand. Kisses. Have a wonderful day. And um, go snuggle up with your man. Do something special. Maybe a little effort. The vibe changes and things turn around for y'all and you don't feel the need to do this, you know what I mean, with, with me or with anybody, you know. And if it ain't with him, then maybe you decide to just move on and do your thing with somebody you are happy with, you know. It's a whole different level of love, you know what I mean, a whole different level of intimacy, like connection that you ain't going to get from Sneaky Lincoln, shorty, just, just to be real. Again, said with respect. <laughs> All right, then. Have a great night, Queen.